Oh, God, we're still here, aren't we? Oh, well. Speaking of still here... Uh, hello, I'm also still here. I hope I'm slightly more welcome. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. Tell me we're oh, not doing but this now. Oh, but we are. This is the item upgrade system. Oh, God. All right, so you, you can see that items are for the most part divided into two categories. This is all the junk we've been collecting from item drops and everything. The little bone symbols on the top items are organic. Anything with the screw, like the stuff at the bottom, is mechanical. I believe the technical term is synthetic. Oh, shut the fuck up. Anyway, each item has an experience value attached to it, and when you put so much material experience worth of material in, you level up your item. So in this case, our Iron Bangle, now instead of having 50 HP, it now it increases our HP by 64. Of course, it cannot be that simple, because this is Final Fucking Fantasy Goddamn 13, and nothing can ever just be straightforward. I think surely it would be more appropriate for you to be using those tears of frustration. Pretty much. So yeah, every single organic doodad that you can pile into your item not only adds a small amount of EXP, but also adds a multiplier that will add that what well, that will multiply the amount of EXP that the item gets the next time you upgrade it. But every yeah, go ahead. yeah every synthetic thing they're worth lots of EXP, but they reduce your multiplier. So in theory, what you want to do is you want to throw a load of organic crap at your item, and then throw a load of synthetic crap at it, so you get a whole lot of EXP at a big multiplier. But... Your stuff can only gain so many levels. And you don't get to see, ever, the total amount of levels that a thing is capable of getting. So... If you go too overboard, you will waste a whole load of very valuable items. And that is... The problem. Yeah, it's not necessarily. I mean, yeah, it's, it is arguably a pretty bad system. It's it's, it's major sin is that it's really poorly explained. Civilians aren't allowed in here, are they? We'll have to be sure to tell them if we see any. And by the end of the game, it will turn into a grind for money, so you can afford to buy another 99 units of the most expensive synthetic thing in the game from a shop. That's. All it is. All these items, they're all the same thing. They're just different units of it. And of course, you can't throw a whole bunch of different synthetic crap at one accessory. Well, uh, we can come back to that later. For now, we have a new enemy. Well, you say new. Well... Okay, fine, whatever, Jesus. The Silver Lobo is your upgraded uh, wolf-type enemy, basically. Uh, he has a new trick in that he can cast Poison. It's the the attack of Virulent Breath. will do a sweeping attack, and anything it hits will get poisoned. Which is eh, not very dangerous right now, but later on, that that will be a big problem. Poison has a weird sort of variable effectiveness in this game. What? I think poison is actually one of those things that does more damage to enemies than it does to you. It very well could be. It could also be just a matter of it's a you know it's a certain percentage of HP, and since enemies get ridiculously inflated HP amounts, it hurts them more because of that. Oh, there it is. So, yep, as you can see, Hope is now slowly losing HP. Yeah, he's losing, like, 3 HP a second. I gonna say, if we had... Right, gonna say, right now, we cannot cure it outside of an antidote. Uh, eventually, Medics will get a skill that does that, but that is still a bit off. Yeah, 
Weirdly, Poison is one of the few debuffs that doesn't have an opposing buff, so Synergist can't do anything about it like they can with Deep Protect and stuff. I notice that this is an exciting new type of area where instead of running along and having enemies you can fight, you run along and there are enemies you have to fight. Oh yeah, an exciting new variation. Right? It's, it's exciting, right? We're, we're, we're excited right now, right? Oh, we're very excited. We're... Uh. I can do this. Hey, we're already seeing pallet swaps of the slug. Stay down. Eh, not quite. This is a... Yeah, okay, whatever. It's, it's a pallet swap with all the shit removed from its head. Yeah, technically speaking, this would be the... You say, if the stuff... The, if the ones that we saw in the last video are the bioweapon versions, this is your feral version. Amazing. The all-natural. And they have a bunch of very important and significant combat related differences that will totally change how you fight them. Right? That wasn't so bad. I, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're. Oh, dear God. I, I can. I can. I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna be able to get some enthusiasm about this area eventually, right? Well, we have more slugs to kill. That's great. Somebody help me. Yeah, not likely did we define this area as the most boring. Huh. Caged in like the animals. And here is the behemoth in his natural habitat. Well, this one seems to stagger a lot easier. Uh, you would think, but it, it does not actually. Say it has a much lower stagger percentage, but its stagger resistance is much, much higher. Oh, well. I'm sure this must have seemed fun to someone at some point. It's okay though. You say we're, we're about to see the, uh, the launch. Oh god! Here, here comes the real fun with launch. Never gets old. Ever. So yeah, this is the real fun with launch. There's that 10 full damage. Once it is launched, every attack that hits it, no matter what, no matter what it is or where it comes from, will basically make it stop in place. You can abuse this to literally juggle enemies for entire fights, and they will never hit the ground before they die. Or the stagger meter empties again. It's great fun. Uh, and of course, that was the, the sole blip of interestingness that's going to happen in this entire forest floor area. We're going to have to find something else to talk about. Anyone got any ideas? Got to be something. I quite like lightning. I like everyone in this game, it's terrible. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know, I, th I think... I mean, for the lightning and cloud comparison, she's always reminded me of a sort of angrier squall. And either, either I have a great fondness for school because I played Final Fantasy VIII when I was 13. And oh, oh that'll, that'll do it. Yep. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I said, there's, there's, go there's going to be a, a moment in about 10 minutes for some very apt score comparisons, so let's keep that one in mind. But, uh, yeah, it was... Oh yeah, I, they're, like, they're both sort of, um... Just another battle. Insecure, screwed up characters who know how to fight and very little else. The third thing is, the, third, the thing that makes school sort of likeable and relatable, if you think school is likeable and relatable, which I know is a contentious issue, is the fact that you're able to hear his Take thoughts, five. which of course you don't get with lightning. 
I think Final Fantasy XIII makes some sort of attempt to do that by occasionally making the characters break into terrible monologues about why they do what they do. What's eating you? Which doesn't really work as well. Okay, I can tell you're hung up on Is that honestly worse than just randomly saying whatever and bemoaning being talked about in the past tense? Uh, That's... It's snow, isn't it? Is it? it that, uh, that's, uh, the, have you ever watched that scene and just imagined what it looked like to the people in the room who can't hear school's thoughts? What happened with him? So many times. That's what lightning seems like to us. Light, uh, lightning is school without the internal monologue. You and I are partners, Hope. We're desperately trying to get Hope to open up here. Her mother was killed. I'm not sure we want that, because but of him. whatever you say, Lightning. Oh, she has no idea what she's unleashing on the world. Also, we remember these scenes, right? Moms are tough. It's his fault. That... That's not how you stab things. Yeah, there you go. He needs to pay for it. I'm not ready yet, but I will be soon. Like that knife probably only exists again because That's some artist thought. spent two entire years with nothing better to do than to just keep adding detail to the knife. Snow dragged us all into this. So it had to get worked you into the me, plot somehow. Your sister Sarah. I like that lightning He's is watching pay. hope knowing that he has this knife that he's really, really interested in playing with, and talking about how Snow has to pay, and she's not doing anything about this, like, like just give me the fucking knife back. You know, I, I, can, I can get behind them bonding over how terrible ho uh, Snow is. Sorry, you were saying? But, like, surely, surely she can see that, like, she can see where this is going. I don't think she dislikes where this is going. I was gonna say, and she's not doing anything to stop it. Oh, would would you? I mean, I'm in, I'm entirely okay with the concept of of Snow getting stabbed. You can't stab a golden retriever. <laughs> well, I don't know. Hope could if he was sa if he was sangry enough. Seriously, we have, we have got to turn that word into a thing. Do we really? Maybe the star pendant that we just got gives us resistance to poison. So I kind of debate for a second, and then I end up putting it on lightning. It's not like she has anything better to really equip. And unlike every other Final Fantasy game ever, where the star pendant makes you immune to poison, here it only gives you 30% resistance, because this is Final Fantasy Goddamn 13, and they have to have some aspect of it that's upgradable! And of course, actually getting it to max level is as annoying as it sounds. And they... Accessories are, on the whole, comparatively okay for upgrading. Where it gets really dumb, is with weapons. Those things can just sink. What the hell just happened with the model there? Well, as you, well, she went right through the cyber tree. I mean, it's not really there. But could I use one of those? A bit too heavy for you. No hope. You can't have okay. big boy weapons. And yet he never actually gets to use the knife in combat. Hey, what a great time for a flashback. Do you guys like food? I like food. Do you, do you like lovingly rendered salad? Are those glasses hovering? You became a lassie, so now you're gonna marry this idiot? And you think I'm gonna buy that? Full points for originality. But don't forget, if you really are a lassie, it's my job to deal with you. I love this flashback for yes. one very dumb reason. This is ridiculous. Worst birthday ever. And there's the score comparison. You can just oh, wait, feel the Sarah. sisterly love there. Look, look at that sock. Why won't you believe her? 
you kidding me? She gets made a lassie, and you pop the question? To be fair, I think she's more angry at, no, at Snow than it. anything. Get well, this is house. some Phoenix Wright level desk slamming here. Sister. We just need some finger pointing. <laughs> that, every time I see that sulk, I'll do it. it just has the I'll complete opposite it. effect. I don't know. I would be pretty pissed if Snow came up and was like, Oh, by the way, I'm totes marrying your sister. Yeah, and the response to that, instead of going, Hmm, would probably be to actually, like, walk the fuck over there and punch him. I mean, we know Lightning's not afraid of punching Snow, so... Why does she just sulk? Also, where did all the food go? Lightning was very hungry. How practical. So that knife looks like it should have this program to bring like, some kind of mechanism in it that's very poorly explained and not actually very practical. Also, what broadcast? There was the TV was not on. Acting with Falsi Eden's approval, authorities declared a state of emergency. Was it was it just like a blank broadcast? The entire district will be quarantined in response to this. I mean, it's probably the equivalent of C-SPAN. This is a sanctum bulletin. Uh, Late last maybe. night. Officials confirm the presence of a pulse. There are just there are a lot of unanswered questions in this game. Why does Snow have a scarf hanging out of his trousers? Sarah, I should have listened to you. No, yeah. there is that. Like, um, does is that like crazy half cape thing part of Guardian Corp uniform? Like, doesn't Lightning ever get tired of that sword bouncing around? I mean, seriously, that would get so annoying. Right? Yeah, that, that would be pretty bad. And how do how do all of those belts on her left leg stay in place? Right, the, game, the game is kind enough to make sure that the first thing you get when you go to the techniques menu is to summon. So uh, I almost dropped Odin on this asshole. <laughs> Well, that would have been entertaining, at least. But, uh, the Barb Spectre is basically the Vespid, except, you know, the not bioweapon version. I like that. We're, we're... This is like the fifth time now we've seen pallet swapped enemies in the same area. I mean, at least with Final Fantasy X, they spaced those guys out a bit. The uh, main difference between uh, the Barb Spectre and the Vespid is that instead of throwing a whole bunch of fireballs at you, which is really, really dangerous, he does this flying tackle that poisons you, and it's sort of like, eh, whatever. It only does like 300 damage, so... And the Edge Carbine is Lightning's magic weapon. Doesn't, that doesn't sound like something that a magic weapon should be called, right? Yeah, it's it's roughly the equivalent of her Gladius, but for magic. Well, at least they're giving them names that sound kind of Gunblade-like, I guess. Oh, there many you picked the wrong fight. Unedged swords. Well, it's more like they they called it an edged. Gun. Like it just it just gives me this like mental image of like holding a rifle that has a that has a bayonet only instead of stabbing people with it you're swinging it around like a sword like a moron. All right, we got one final stretch of the area that we're going to tackle next time, but that is going to be it for this one. This area is almost over. Yeah, believe it or not, this this is it. Only three updates. Like seriously. You, We've been cutting out a lot of fights, but this area just goes on and on.